For this activity, I'm going to use two dice to create a money amount and show that on a number line. Okay, so starting with number one, I'm going to make sure to label my paper with what number I'm on. So number one, roll my dice, and I have a four and a three. So this first one is going to be my ones, or my dollar amount, and the second number is going to be my tenths, or my decimal, I mean my uh, dime amount. So this would be four dollars and thirty cents. And since I don't have any pennies or any hundredths, I'm going to put a zero there, just so it looks more like a money amount. Now I need to draw my number line. I need to decide what should my number line start with and what should my number line end with. I know that $4.30 is in between $4 and $5. So my starting number or my smaller number is going to be 4 and then my ending number is going to be 5. Now I know that $4.30 is the same thing as 4 holes and 3 tenths. Because remember, if you don't have that zero in the hundreds place, it would be three tenths. So that means I need to divide this number line into how many places. The denominator tells us it takes ten to make a hole, so I need ten pieces in my um, frac or my number line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I need to number it or label my number line. So across the top, I'm going to do my fraction, and across the bottom, I'm going to do it in decimal form. So I'm going to start in decimal form. So I know that if these are increasing by increments of tenths, then this has to be four and one-tenth, or four and ten cents. Four and two-tenths, four and three-tenths, four and four-tenths, Four and five tenths, four and six tenths, four and seven tenths, four and eight tenths, and four and nine tenths. So remember, this is just like four dollars and ninety cents, and after four dollars and ninety cents, we go up to five dollars. Okay, across the top, I'm gonna have to write it as a mixed number because I need a whole and a fraction. So I know that this four is gonna be carried with me all the way until I get to the five. So I have four holes and one tenth of a dollar. Four holes and two tenths. Four, four holes and three tenths. Four holes and four tenths. Four and five tenths. Four and six tenths. Four and seven tenths. Four and eight tenths. And four and nine tenths. After nine tenths or nine dimes, it's going to go up to five because ten dimes would be a whole or the next dollar. Okay, so then four dollars and thirty cents would be right here on our number line. So I'm going to circle that amount. And then I'm going to write number two and I'm going to roll my dice again. This time I have two dollars and forty cents or two and four tenths or two and forty hundredths. Okay, and then I would do my number line and repeat as above. You will need to complete five of these on your paper.